Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are taking a look at the Azure Administrator Exam Guide Breakdown. And uh, so what we're gonna do is read the official outline so you can have an understanding of what it is that we need to study. And also I'll just tell you a little bit about how frequently they update their uh, certifications and how do you kind of like uh, deal with that? Because, you know, as when I started producing this course, they've already changed it twice on me. Uh, and so, you know, if this is in the future, I just want to make sure that you know where to look and so that you can, uh, if you need to self-study um, or just be aware of what has changed, okay? So, um, yeah, I went into Google, I typed in AZ-104, Azure Administrator, I got to this page, scroll on down, and they'll have the skills outlined, so I'll just open that in a new tab. And if it has at the top, see this red text, it'll say the, this document contains skills measured on the exams associated with certification. It does not include the upcoming or recent changes. They might as well have red text here all the time because they always have it. If you scroll on down, it doesn't show any of the changes, okay? So if I make my way back here and you scroll on down, uh, what you'll do is you'll right click on this and this one's a lot better, I think. And if you scroll on down, it looks the same, but it's not, see it's, it, it, it's pretty darn similar, but see this is schedule exam. And if you scroll on down here and we open this new tab here, uh, we have that red text again and it tells you the date. So this is March 26. And if you scroll all the way down, it shows you what has changed, right? So um, what I'm gonna do is we'll just use this one as our example. But before we do, I just wanna point out that um, Azure has a thing, or sorry, yeah, Azure or Microsoft has, um, it's called Microsoft Learn. And so they have a lot of free content. And so, um, you know, should you go use this content for study? Sure. Is it enough to pass the exam? No. <laughs> but the thing is, is that, you know, when you're doing my course, if for whatever reason, um, uh, I, I don't have a particular follow along and you're looking for more follow alongs, you might find them in here. Uh, so it doesn't hurt to go through it or just to be able to read it in a different way. But I'm gonna tell you that it really is not enough to pass the exam, um, but it is definitely a good accompaniment to uh, the course that I have here, okay? So let's go make our way back over to the exam here. And I'm pretty sure I'm just a bit uh, uncertain here. So I'm just gonna open up the original one here just to make sure that they're the same. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's fine. So we'll, we'll use the one where they have changes. So at the top here, we have manage Azure identities and governance. Actually, well, you know what we'll do? We'll just go down below here because they show them all here. So this is prior to March 26th and this is the new updated guide. This is what I'm gonna be focusing here on the right-hand side. So the first thing, and it's just rewording, but manage Azure Active Directory. Active Directory is uh, a way for you to manage your users and their permissions um, uh, with, like, with their identities, okay? So you gotta be able to create user groups, manage user groups and properties, manage device settings. Um, and this is weird because I feel like device management needs a lot more of a section here. And it like what I was saying, I found that like there was a lot more to it. And so I made just a section just for this in the course uh, because I just felt like it got glossed over. Cause when I started doing practice exams and then taking my real exam, I was so uh, surprised on like how I missed that information. So I put some emphasis in there. We got bulk user updates, manage guest accounts, Azure AD join, configure self-service password reset. Then you have manage role-based access controls, RBAC. So create a custom role, provide access to Azure resources by assigning roles to different scopes, intercept access assignments. Then we have manage subscriptions and governance, configure Azure policies, resource locks, apply and manage tags resources, manage resource groups, manage subscriptions, manage costs. A lot of these are just rewordings, right? So cost management, now just to costs, <laughs> okay? Coming down below here, uh, we have uh, secure storage. So it's interesting they just put the word secure in there to emphasize it. They just changed the category name there. But network access to storage, configure storage accounts, generate out an SAS, manage keys, Azure AD authentication, Azure files. Um, I think file sync should be here. It might be, a, oh yeah, it's down here, okay. Um, so, so now the next thing here, manage storage. So we got export Azure jobs, import jobs, Azure storage explorer, AZ copy, replication, blob, object replication. Then for Azure file, Azure blob storage, we got file share, file sync, blob storage, just all the different types of blobs um, and the blob life, life cycle management. For uh, Deploy and Manager Azure uh, Compute Resources, we got the automate deployment of uh, VMs via the Amazon Resource Manager. Um, Resource Manager is a really great tool to uh, learn, so I, I do use it quite a bit 
uh, in our follow along soon. I keep on coming back to it. Uh, the AZ or the Azure Resource Manager template, uh, virtual hard disk template, deploying a template, um, deploying a virtual machine. So for configuring virtual machines, we have Azure Disk uh, Encryption. Uh, you can move a VM between resource groups, managing VM sizes, uh, adding disks, configuring deploys, conf high availability, scale sets. Scale sets are such a pain to set up. <laughs> like I thought they work like AWS um, uh, auto scaling groups. They absolutely do not. Um, so that was something that was very interesting. I think you should give some attention to. Uh, create and configure containers. This, I think that I uh, mine is a little bit more light. So um, when I did this, I just did the bare, like the bare minimum here for Kubernetes, and it looks like they've added a bunch of other stuff. So I will be adding them to the course, but the, probably I just won't have them initially. So just watch out for that kind of stuff. I honestly didn't see, um, and I took I took the exam after this date here, but I didn't really see that many um, Kubernetes questions at the time when I sat it. So I'm not too worried about it, but I'm just saying like, just watch out and make sure, if I don't have that content, make sure you just read some of the docs there or, or poke around the um, panel there. Uh, for Azure App Services, so create app service plans, app um, configure scaling sets, create secure custom domains, backup, networking, deployment. What's interesting is they don't have, um, there's a service called Web Apps. It allows you to run remote scripts. So they don't have that in there, which I was a bit surprised. Uh, but I found that as I did my actual exam. Uh, configure and manage virtual networking. So you just now have to know the uh, the ins and outs of virtual networking, which is not too hard here, like peering and stuff like that. Uh, secure virtual networks. That's where we're talking about NSGs, the firewall, bastion service, load balancers. So the Azure application gateway. Um, and the last here is to monitor uh, and troubleshoot virtual networking. So monitor on-premise connectivity, network performance monitor, Azure network watcher, these stuff. I honestly found this part the hardest to set up because at least at the time when I did this, the services are so old and they're also being transitioned to something else. And, you know, I looked around and I, I figured, you know, like maybe other people had better resources and they honestly didn't. So I don't feel too bad about it, but I'm just, if you feel some pain doing this part, I totally understand, okay? Then down below we have integrate on-premise. So we got uh, a VPN gateway, express route, virtual WAN. I gave virtual WAN a lot of attention just because um, I've never had a strong networking background. And I just thought that, you know, if you didn't either, that I would give it a very thorough explanation, which I do. For monitor and backup Azure resources, uh, we got intercept metrics, logs, analyze log queries, ap application insights. And for backups, we got recovery services. Azure Backup, Azure Site Recovery, and stuff like that. So yeah, that is basically everything you need to learn. Uh, yeah, if something's missing, just go go look up that individual item uh, on your own there. But you know, this my course is very complete. But you know what? It could be like three months later, and then they just they add a few little extra things in there. So just watch out for that, okay?